All right. So you want to learn HTML and CSS. How do you start? Uh, there are a lot of good resources out there. Uh, W3School is uh, the place that I used a lot when I was learning HTML and CSS years ago. And I still reference it uh, when I don't remember some of the syntaxes. But one of the things that could be overwhelming with HTML and CSS is that there are so many new tags and syntaxes or properties uh, that are out there that as a new beginner, you may not uh, be sure on which ones you should study first and master. So I wanted to provide some tips uh, regarding that. So here uh, is a blog article that I wrote and I'll put a link uh, below the video so that you can uh, directly visit. But this is the top HTML tags uh, that you need to really, really master first. And if you've already studied HTML, you probably know some of these already. And no worries, you can uh, move on to uh, the other parts. But if you are studying HTML for the first time, don't worry about some of these other tags. You, you know, these especially you probably don't uh, even need it. I would say 95 to 99 percent of everything in the world can be created using just the ones in the yellow or uh, the gold bucket these you may use some of these later on um, but master the yellow ones first and then you will uh, later realize when you need to uh, use some of the nice to know which i would say is used less than one percent of the time now same thing with the css uh, I have a graph over here. There are so many CSS properties out there. Uh, a lot of the things that has to do with animations and other things. Well, don't worry about those. Only really focus on the yellow and the green buckets first. And I'll zoom this in a little bit so that you can see this a little bit better. So master these. And then once you master these, then you will know how to create almost everything. Uh, there may still be some things that you need, you need on some of the cases uh, that you will have to use, but 95% of all the CSS properties you will ever use in the future will probably fall under this bucket. So master that first. If you're getting into responsive design, then you need to learn some additional CSS tags, uh, but I'll also um, have some other uh, videos to go over some of the responsive design as well. All right, but these are the things that you should you should master first. Uh, these are the nice to knows, and these I don't think you need to know at all, uh, unless you're doing something that you can't do, and then you can look up. Now, this depends on industries and uh, different projects you will work on. This is based on my uh, how many years have I been programming uh, for over twenty. 25 years. Um, but web development, I've been doing it for about 15 years or so. So, you know, based on all the projects I worked on, these will cover uh, almost everything to create any projects, whether that's a responsive website or not. Okay. All right. So those are the, those are the tags to focus. Again, W3School is a great resource. Uh, where you can really get familiar and um, again as there are a lot of tutorials out there I'm not gonna cover that but uh, make sure you focus on mastering those concepts first